Hi, and welcome back to South African Homesteader. So today what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to show you how we propagate um, plants on the homestead from existing plants because that way we don't spend so much money buying new plants all the time. So, okay, let's first come here. So this is a wild banana. This is also called a Strelitzia nicolai, right? And what we did was we cut off a piece of the rhizome um, and that, that, that could be called a pup from one of our existing um, plants which have grown somewhat and we then transplanted it in there. We do that with a lot of the plants that we have. We also take off some of these pups here, these little babies here. So I will leave, I will leave two of these or three and then take off the bottommost one over here. I will take off and then I will repot it. And that we've done and with one of the others and we've, trans and we've planted it somewhere else. The pup that I've just shown you, we've taken off from this plant here. We've taken it off from this plant. And you can see there's another one, two, three over there, four. Now the garden is dying down because we are in autumn entering winter. This is a pup from our dwarf banana plant which we've tra transplanted we actually have about one four i think we've planted out five of these and that is from an actual banana plant that hasn't as yet um, produced bananas because it's still small um, but since we took off those pups the plant is actually growing a lot better and then the other thing that we do is we propagate a lot by means of, um, well, we find it easier now to propagate by means of cuttings. So of some of our existing plants. And this is the banana plant that we have taken off the pups from. Okay. So the, the, this is not a wild banana, this is actually called a dwarf banana plant. What I've also done is, I've taken two cuttings of this, which is a guava tree. And we, it produces the most beautifully sweet guavas. And as you can see, we have plenty. We have plenty of guavas on here. And as you can see, here this whole thing here we have guavas here 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 so this whole tree really is filled with guavas so i've taken two cuttings of this i don't know how it's going to do i have done a video but i like to do the video so that i can follow up on whether we are successful or not and i also did I, I did quite a few cuttings of the passion fruit which is our I, I call it my monster passion fruit because this is one plant like i've shown in, in many of my other videos this is one plant which has completely it's completely grown into this monster of a plant so we've taken cuttings of here because the passion fruits from this this vine is exceptionally sweet and that is how we um, propagate a lot of our plants this these little hen and chickens i don't know what is the scientific name i know it is hen and chicken these are also little um We've just taken off some of the chickens and popped it into the ground and um, it's also grown. I've done it here 
where the pavilion is we take a walk around the garden and we sort of see okay this tree is well established we can take uh, cuttings from it or we can take um it has a pup that can be removed and replanted etc um, we do it with our malfas we do it with with a lot of the plants and that way we don't spend so much money getting new new plants all the time now this this um palm oh let's see this little palm here is actually one plant i bought it and it was one plant with this palm over here with this palm and what I did was I cut it in half because I could see that it's actually two palms that's grown together I cut it in half and it seems to be doing well this year is just a plant that I bought although I do have plenty of these I've also I have plenty of these I've also seeded some I've got one that is actually a seedling that I started from seed I am stratifying some of the seeds again in um, my fridge because they need to go through a cold period before they start germinating and um, I actually want to do it with one of the fig I've got quite a few fig trees but there's one that really has a beautiful those dark figs I don't know what it's called um, so a lot of the trees that you see here has been started from seed and it has been um, like this is a fig tree that I started from seed these are apple trees whether I mean whether it's going to produce fruit or not whenever they do they do if they don't they don't this is an apple tree that I started from seed there's one there's one behind there as well and I probably won't get edible apples from here it will probably be what they call um, crab apples what do they call it crab apples I don't know um, something like that but the fact of the matter is it will be trees and it will create lushness on the on the farm because although it's overcast today it actually gets extremely hot here in summer Okay, so we want to transplant this into the ground because it's not going anywhere in the pot. So the two of them are probably going to be breaking this beautiful pot. Oh. Hey, played! Leave the chickens! What? Heavy. It's heavy, huh? With the soil, it's heavy. The roots are stuck to the pot. Okay, there it comes. There we go. Wow. We're going to have to just untangle. Uh, keep it that way, Zach. We're going to have. Wow, look at this root system at the bottom here. We're going to have to just loosen some of it so that maybe. Yeah, so that it can. So where are we gonna plant it? You don't have to loosen all, just some. Even if you break some of it. Yeah. Just so that it can make contact with an, with its new home. There we go. That's fine. There you go. At the time it was bought, it just cost 230 rand. Just the pot. Yeah. Okay, I think this is great. Yeah, this is good. This is so we've often been asked why, um, what do we do? What do we do here that the plants are growing so well? But I'm thinking that it's because we have a lot of this. You see this limestone here. This all comes from under the ground. And even here, we we're going to transplant that plant we just took out. There's a lot of lime, and as we take it out, it somehow gets crushed. And lime is very good in the garden. 
so it provides some i think alkalinity you can me if i'm wrong but um i think it provides some alkalinity to the soil and um i think that is why we have some success here on the farm it's just we can use that stone So we can use it. It's just annihilating the whole stone. Here. First, I got those big pieces. Now, if you go back to my older videos, you'll see that I started um, date palms from seed, and this is actually the the biggest one that has grown after we've transplanted. Um, and I think it was. It was, was it mid two dates? I can't remember what kind of dates. I must go back onto that video to see what was the type of date, but I, love, I like that date. So this won't be bearing fruit for many years, maybe eight, eight years, because um, it's been started about two years ago, almost. So, um, and in the ground, it's been now for, I would say about a year. And all of these plants, like I say, it's to create a tropical feel to this arid west coast that we live on. So, yeah, the plan is to build one of the, um, like we have those white pavilions at the back there. I want to build another one here, but now it needs to be built. Maybe not too big because we have a citrus tree, a lemon tree, or no, 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 this is an orange tree doing so badly. Um, but we're gonna sort it out and then we have a what is it called now? I say the name, I can't think of it now. Uh, we have one of these growing here, it's got this beautiful red flower. Then we planted a banana pup here, and then we have a transplanted for poor plant here which is not doing so great because they don't like to be transplanted um, and then we obviously have one grapevine which has also been affected by disease we're also trying to get it to recover and this plant which I can't remember the name of it's just a difficult name that's why I can't remember it but this is going to cover this eventually so I'm thinking of just putting a pavilion in not a pavilion, just a little canopy. Um, just just in this area here. Um, so that you're surrounded by all these trees and things. Make it look like a nice tropical space. And eventually I was thinking if we have many of those little spaces. Um, and I maybe have a... The plan was to have a coffee shop but i'm more thinking of having a sort of a tea garden where we can have these little canopies um at different spaces in the garden when um and then maybe have like a tea garden where we just maybe serve like you know your basic maybe scones and maybe with jam from the um garden that i make myself homemade jams and and little what you what you know serving a tea garden but because it will be it will be nice you know sort of a farm tea garden experience these cosmos are completely covering this this hand palm so i actually want zach to also remove this because it's 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 um imposing on the leaves leaves of this palm this cosmos just grows straight up like that it does give it a nice green feel now because my trees are all still small but um i think they're starting to take nicely this apple tree i need to come with my snippers and i need to just snip off this this is dead see this is dead but i went at the bottom and it's alive there i can it's 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 gonna die but it's alive so we need to um Cut it as short as we possibly can and in all the these are all the grafted ones that was purchased we've had a lot of bug pressure here this past year so and the farm is really starting to 
give me that feel that I want when I'm outside. Pre also was on the other side chain. It had no companions to, to, to make it want to live. We put it here now and we've got some leaves coming on to the tree. Yeah. I've got some date palms here also that I planted from seed same time like the others. But also because it was very lonely. Trees, um, they speak to each other via the root systems, I think. See this also taking off nicely. And this one also. It's taking time. And it is still taking time. But it's growing. Another one here. Because this is where the road is. And I want it to be lined by these farms. This one is completely eaten by something. I think there's another one on the other side here. Now they're also starting to take this one as well. So this is just... There's an apple tree over there. Over there. This is a lemon or nachi or something i know the one is lemon and the one is nachi i always say the same thing in all my videos because i'm not sure which is which and this is the other one that i get confused with so we have some citrus here struggling but we'll get it eventually to grow this is the olive tree it's also slow growing, still slow. I think it just might be our conditions here. This is that cosmos, that orange flame cosmos, but the leaves are so lush looking. I mean, these are obviously all my flowers that have died down, which is drop seeds, which we are leaving. More cosmos. And this is a fig tree, which we need to shame. I know it's ill looking. been eaten but I don't know these are two these are two little um, pomegranate plants that I started from seed and I planted it here this one is doing actually a little bit bigger than that one It's just all about having patience on the farm. But I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just really about how we are trying to propagate without this another of the date plants that's not drop seed. Some of them are struggling and then you have some that's finally just taken off. These are my dahlias. I'm letting it dry out so that I can dig up the bulbs because they would have formed bulbs. These were all started from seed and um, I'm actually even just letting it drop here. I don't know what this garden is going to look like next year but I'm excited to see it. I'm trying to stop this. So this is actually the hibiscus. As I walk past it now, I just remembered the name. Sometimes when I'm doing the video, then I forget. But this is actually the hibiscus. So I, I actually enjoy the, the gardening winter. What I do want to show you is I want to show you my popo plants, which we, um, we just dug a little small trench and we put some seeds in it. And oh, my marigolds. I'm leaving the marigolds because it just provi it provided some shade, which is why this one is growing so nice. Yeah, this is a purple plant. This is a purple plant. I know it's growing close together, but I am leaving it. Don't want to disturb it. Another purple. So it's one, two, three, four, five. A little straggler here. Five. 
five. Um, do it on the air five. So there's five of them. This is a people plant coming out here. I have so many people plants that I actually just know how it is. I throw out my, when I wash my peppers and things, I just throw it all over the garden. Because I don't really mind where the things grow. This, here, yeah, another plant I started from seed. It's a lemon. It's a little lemon tree. And this one as well. You can see that one is doing better than this one. But I actually have one that is struggling, but it's still alive. Shame. Struggling, but it's also a lemon tree. And obviously this is the mulberries that we've grafted, that we've um, taken cuttings from and we've got plenty of those cuttings that we can plant. Um, I actually transplanted because those pawpaws came up in clusters. I actually took some out and I planted some over, all over the garden. Here's one. Struggling but alive because this was done about a month ago. So gives me hope that it will survive. Um, I've taken a, out a lot of these gazanias and it was, you know, this was six, six purple, six orange and six yellow and they are spreading. I've even transplanted some in front there. Um, so that's a popo plant that I showed you now that was transplanted. So popos really don't want to be transplanted. So now what we do is, we will just be, uh, when we eat purpose, we'll just plant them, throw the seeds wherever we want them. In here we keep banana water. Oh, put all our banana peels in here usually, and, we, and then we just um, give the plant some of the banana water. It's rich in potassium. So I hope you enjoyed our video today. Um, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and you would like to follow our journey. We do all sorts of things on the farm. We do um, propagation of plants. We do plants, uh, seeding of plants. We um, show you how we put up little structures such as this one that I'm sitting under. Um, and all sorts of things so if you would like to follow our channel please click on the subscribe button and from me Haria at South African Homesteader until next time